I don't even know where to start. That's the crazy shit. Don't know where to start. I, 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 write, I write things down. I'm like, hey, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about this. And I got nothing. I'm sitting here. I got, I got nothing. Okay, I got fucking nothing. I'm looking at myself. This is what I'm doing. This is my exercise. Uh, it's not much of an exercise at all. Okay, I know how I look. I'm, I'm well aware at this point of how of all my deepest. I mean, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, I, I learn even more flaws about myself. You would think that you get the flaws out of the way for the first like. However many years of your life, you're like, okay, especially with the Catholic guilt kind of thing. And the Catholic thing of like, again, I'm a piece of shit. Jeezy boy is the best, clearly. And I am fucking, you know, I am in his dust because in a, I'm looking up to this guy because I, uh, because I'm not him. Okay, because I'm not fucking that guy. Right, that's the whole point. We, we talk about this ad, ad nauseum. Okay, ad nauseum when we talk about this. So I am not Jeezy boy, Okay. Uh, so, but then that, what that does is that cultivates, you know, it cultivates two things. So two things happen at the same time, which makes religions like a fucking headache to deal with. Because the one thing is, okay, you're not Jeezy boy, so you're a fucking piece of shit. So then that's the rotten thing. Then it's like the repression. And then, oh yeah, you know, I had a, the, or a dirty dream or whatever. Now I'm going to, you know, do like the, like the, the Da Vinci Code shit. You know, like whip myself like I'm a fucking ass, like a, the fucking animal ass. Cause I thought, cause I thought about ass. I thought about ass. So now I am treating myself as such. The other uh, route, the other angle is like, uh, because we're like, we always, always, we've mentioned this too. I'm going to stop saying that too. I got to stop saying we've mentioned this. Cause I haven't like, we've touched upon any of everything. And like nobody's watching this, so like who am I talking to? It's like I'm I'm, I'm saying this shit to people, and it's like oh yeah, they're like like what like like some fucking loyal viewer that's gonna know exactly what I'm talking. I'm just gonna assume that everybody here is here for for thirty fucking seconds, okay? And so I'm gonna stop ruining this whole flow of saying. Oh yeah, like we were talking about, we talked about. It. Don't worry about it. Don't, you know, it's like he's like Desi. Like, don't worry if you talked about it or not. Just assume. First of all, everybody's stupid. Too. I'm. I know everybody's stupid because I am stupid. Okay, so sometimes I'm watching shit and they're like, yeah, you remember we talked about the, the the jellyfish? And I'm like, I don't remember the jellyfish. Please give me a, a, a update on the jellyfish. Give me a, a refresher course on the jellyfish because I I I'm I'm, I'm a bit uh you just 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 catch me up. Catch me, up. dude. I, I, I the, the neighbor. You know, have you noticed it too? Like, cause cause we're not really like a couple shows still do the, the 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 weekly thing. Mostly it's just streaming now. So now you just like you have to. What do you have to remember from the previous episode? It's like literally the shit you just fucking saw. But you know, most TV like literally ten fucking years ago, it's like there was like yeah, previously on yeah, it's like yeah, catch me up because a lot of shit has happened midweek. Okay, I'm getting divorced. Uh, you, you, my my kid's failing. Like my kid fell in a fucking swimming pool and he had to be pulled out. Okay, so I lost the plot. Especially and if it's a good show, you'll remember usually. Unless you have my kind of brain, which I remember the most meaningless shit. I could tell you how many strikeouts fucking Randy Johnson had in in 1999. Like he's 364. Just, just, just for whatever fucking reason, it's just, just like, like so something's like, hey, plant that in there, okay? Pedro Martinez was twenty three and four in nineteen ninety nine. I don't know if he did he win the Cy Young or not, but he must, he must, he must have won the Cy Young. I think he had three hundred thirteen strikeouts. Why, why do we know this? Randy Johnson was I think seventeen and nine that year. You can look this up. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. And that's what I'm talking about. So that that is the reason, literally. And I talk about you. Uh, you're doing it again. I am doing it. Again. I'm doing it again. Okay. I've talked to you about... I don't give a fuck if I talk to you about it. Nobody cares. Okay, nobody fucking cares. That's the, this is the problem with everything. Nobody fucking gives a shit. Uh, and now this is fucking bright again, too. How, can you pick a spot? Can you pick a spot and then go, like, either bright or not too bright? You know? Does everything have to just ruin my fucking day? Does everything have to ruin my... Does, every, does everything have to ruin my day? And then this is the dumbest invention ever, too, because they put they put the the, the 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 wire on the same side as the 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 the, the, the plug, and now my chair is fucked. Oh. oh my god! And every fucking thing that's ever flown is flying by now, too. We got dogs, we got Air Force things, we got everything. We got to worry about everything on this thing, okay? Where are we left? Where do we leave off? Where I need a refresher. Talk about a single refresher, like a little ice, like a little nice little iced tea with the with uh, ice cubes. I need one of those because I need to know where we are. Where are we? What are we doing? We 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 have decided. We said, hey, here's what we said. We said, hey, dead shits on will continue. You know, just, I think at this point it's just going to continue as dead shits on. I think that's just the future for it. It's just what what is just is what. I'm not repainting. It's you know, it's enough for me. To, it's it's a pain in the ass for me to fucking get this shit together. Okay. 
So this idea that I'm going to go and rebrand everything now and undo all this, and you're not doing undo it. You're just going to stay with it. You're going to have to fucking deal with it. If we change the thing in theory, well, now nah, you're just pretending your fucking head is something different. Literally, this affects nobody. This affects nobody's life. It, it barely even affects my life. Uh, so we're going to keep doing the dead shit sort of thing. But we said we're going to try to move away from shitting on. We're going to we're gonna still shit on. But we're going to shit on because they are always going to be shitting on because people are worth shitting on all the fucking time. People people are like, I'm not going to say the, I'm not going to pretend they're the fucking worst species. There's a lot of worse species than fucking people. Okay, there's a lot of worse species. And a lot, you know you know, you know know how you know which ones the worst species are? Uh, it is the species that people have as fucking like pets and shit. Okay, so that usually, usually, I mean, some people who have the pet raccoons, we salute those who have the pet raccoons. You will be, you, you will get a VIP position in the, in the Des Empire. You, it'll be like a tax incentive kind of thing. Like you'll get a tax write-off for a for owning a raccoon. Uh, if you start decorating it like every other fucking cat or whatever, you know, like if you if you start like you're dressing it like a like you start doing like poodle shows with fucking raccoons, unless you do something cool with it, if it's like an extreme course, if it's like American Gladiator kind of thing, well, do an Amer- do an American Gladiator thing with the raccoon that will be funded by by our money, it will be government funded, like you know how like, the BBC and all that kind of shit, PBS, De- whatever the Des thing of that becomes. Uh, we will have a lot of raccoon programming, a lot of like raccoon, like uh, the, 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 the Discovery Channel type shit where you can learn about the raccoon and say, hey, why does it go through my trash? What, you know, what is it looking for? Why is it? And then you'll say, hey, because there's a hard, hard work of people and because they follow the raccoon god Rachucha. Okay, the raccoon god Rachucha is who they give up their, their, their sacrifice and praise to. So this is going to be a lot of, like, raccoon content. There's probably a lot of squirrels. I saw a squirrel the other day, and it was just, like, I had to just take it. And the thing just, the thing went and got himself a little acorn, okay? He found a little acorn for himself. It's, like, good for you. And then he just kind of fucking stopped. And you could just tell he's just taking in just the world around him. It's like he forgot about the acorn for, like, five seconds. And he's just looking around. He's got this thing bulging on the side of his mouth. And he's just going... And just observing life, and I'm like, you know, I just go, I, 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 I like, I, I, I like things that go get their own shit. They don't fucking sit. The squirrel's not gonna sit around and wait for you to get the fucking acorn. He's gonna go get the fucking acorn. Okay, that's the kind of thing we like here. Self sufficiency. Now, I understand that half the time we're also bitching about, you know, just, just being losers. Well, since you've been just bitching about being t- temporary, temporary, because that's the great thing about the American dream. The great thing about the American dream is all, it's all temporary because you will have the penthouse one day. You will have this and that. It's just bound to happen. It's not, if not, it's your fault, right? But that's the whole thing. But, and, and at least while you're, you, while, you, while you inevitably never get that in your fucking life, it's there to decorate the way, okay? So this is like the opposite of the Soviet shit, where the Soviet shit would just straight up tell you. It's like, you know what you're having today? You're having porridge. You're having fucking porridge and you're having vodka to get through this shit. Shit because this is fucking miserable. And you know, you have it tomorrow, you're gonna have porridge or gruel or whatever the fuck that the name for that shit is. Like, like, there's some fucking Russian word for that shit. That's what you're having today, is what you're having tomorrow, you're gonna eat it with a wooden spoon and you're gonna just wash it down with vodka because life sucks. And that's what it's gonna be for 30 years. But then again, they tried to decorate it with the like, the, things suck now, but workers' revolution. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, like, as much as we shit on like wealth and all, and all this shit, and obviously, like, you go, like, hollowing out fucking Manhattan, right? So they came in and they got rid of all the mom and pop shits. There's, there's like, hey, you were paying, what, $15,000 in rent? How about $45,000 in rent? And the guy who make a pancakes is like, okay, I got to charge fucking $30 pancakes. And people will buy $30 pancakes. So he's the guy, the guys who survived had to turn around and say, hey, gluten-free, whatever the fuck. And then, ah, I love it. But this, but it's not even, that's not even a hipster thing. It's not a hipster thing that there's no people here. There's people who just buy these fucking blocks. They buy these these these, these apartment houses with their investment because their currencies go to shit. So they're not making any fucking money over there. That's how you make money. And then they get they bypass all the, the, the property tax laws and all that shit. That's where you make the money. And because of all this shit, because then that, that all goes up. And that's just that fucking racket, which we have to fucking get into. We're going to own something. We need a piece of the rock, baby. But that's besides the point. Because of that shit, the rents go up to fucking 45000 and, and then there's the coronavirus shit. And then nobody was going around. And then all this shit. Now it's a fucking ghost town. I'm like, what happened? First of all, you built the city for the same fucking people all the time and these people keep coming out of the woodwork they come out of the woodwork there's a fucking limitless amount of people named like shane and shane's like an irish name so i guess maybe that's the wrong kind of name to go for but you know what these like fucking uh, uh american psychotypes these american psychotypes they're just endless there's an endless fucking stream you think you've seen the end of it and then you just see this person you haven't seen in fucking 15 years who just decide like sign me up for the the, the the thing you know the thing that everybody does whatever it is this is peloton i don't know i'm not up to date on this shit but you know what the fuck they sign up for the thing of the moment and they just do that repeatedly so then they, obviously they get married by this age they get engaged with this, and then they find another one and then it's like they, there's the same fucking person it's like stepford wives shit they just pulled another one out they found this thing they took the hat and they pulled another fucking rabbit and instead of a rabbit it's just another one of these motherfuckers that this entire shit is fucking built for because they keep saying hey we're gonna build a you know that bowling alley you had well we're 
going to have laser bowling, whatever is it is sponsored by Boo. And here's a, you know, here's a picture of fucking Tiesto. I don't even know who the fuck Tiesto is. I just know he's, he's just some one of these fucking names. Sorry, Tiesto, if you're, I don't know if you're a cool guy or whatever. I don't know what the story is. But they just put, put, put one of these fucking people on there. Say, hey, the bowl, new, new laser bowl. And now it's instead of $17, it's fucking $70, okay? And it's, you know, it's going to take 35 years to fucking recoup this shit. And they're just going to dump a fucking bunch of money into it. But that's where all the, the meetings happen and all this kind of stuff. And you're like, okay, you're like, yeah, I get this. But you've done this kind of thing like 35 times over. Okay, there's 35, th- within a fucking three block radius, there's 35 of these. Th- 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 this extension of, oh, essentially, it's just Chuck E. Cheese for adults. Okay, it's just, it's just Chuck E. Cheese for adults. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese for adults for uh, uh, adults who who went through the uh the 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 what's the word I'm like the, the frat the frat system okay the frat system and now they just walk I was just on a bus the other week and I had to fucking listen to this shit I had to listen to and they were younger they were younger than I was but it's the same fucking mentality it's like the, the, the next generation you think oh next generation you know like you look at some of these like like generate why what is it what do they call them Y generations Gen Z Zoomers and you're like oh my god we got our fucking hands full but you know what they're they're so different they're different enough that it's like all right well everybody's like this then hey maybe maybe they will solve the war shit right because maybe you know this kid in china this kid in russia this kid in 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 fucking kansas this kid in 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 saudi arabia they all just want to play like minecraft or some shit and then and then just you know be like gender fluid and 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 and, and pull, put their hair in 17 different colors and you might go oh whatever it's like yeah but if that's if, if that's the alternative to like you know fucking rocket launching each other then maybe that's a good thing you know maybe it's a good thing but i think it's like that's something i think they're different enough but these the keep people on the bus were not that level okay and it's like one of these things i'm like oh younger people okay maybe they're gonna do something different now maybe two you know like the, the, the flaws that they usually go too different they're like oh yeah we're gonna change human human nature overnight oh yeah really i, I got some fucking news for you but so these are these fucking people on the bus. It's like, oh, okay, wait, never, never, never mind. You know, like there's still room for this thing to roam. And by this thing, I mean the the, the again, it's just Bob. It's just another extension of the Bob. But like the, the the frat boy, let's treat this thing like a. F- and they weren't frat boys. That's the whole thing. They weren't frat boys. They were just average. But they like everything. Half the shit they were talking about was college. College this and it's a great college town. <laughs> and they were just shitting on Brooklyn. They were shitting on Brooklyn. Like, well, usually we have to go to New Williamsburg, but this, where are we going? To? <laughs> because it's like, you know, why don't you just fucking adventure yourself? Adventure yourself. That's not even a fucking verb, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it out here. You know, like, why is like, why, no, why is everything supposed to be cultivated to your fucking, your, your tastes? You know, I just, like, these are the kind of people, I just hope they get fucking robbed. I just want, I want, I would advocate that as a mayor's strategy. See, they're talking about, like, a oh, reduction in crime. No, it's like, we just need to reorient crime, okay? We need to have, like, you know, like, you know how you have incentives? You know, like, you have incentives. So, like, we were talking about incentives before, right? You, uh, uh, you know, if you have, like, uh, you know, like solar panels and shit. I don't even know if that, fu- it's actually, it's actually, I, I just learned, if you have it, like, depends on where you are. But it's actually worse to have fucking solar panels in some places. I think, like, here, like, you're just not going to... If you're, like, in Dallas or in, in, in some shit like that, there's enough sunlight to sustain that. And you're like, okay, you're fine. But if you're doing it in Brooklyn just to be a fucking show-off, you're trying to do, like... Even, like, Jimmy Carter, you know, used to give him give him props because he was trying to do that shit in Washington. But he might have just been a fucking idiot. He's like, yeah, Jimmy, there's not enough sunshine. I know you're used to peanuts and peaches and shit down in fucking Georgia, where the fuck you're from. But there's not, there's not enough here. We can't sustain that here, okay? It's not, it's not cost-effective. It's not cost effective i know you need i know presidency actually the presidents don't actually do anything and the whole thing is like i need to project i need to project and he was in terms of projection they're like hey the state of the union what are you projecting and that's what you're supposed to do like the whole hey, well state of the union is great and he's like hey we got a fucking problem here okay we got a crisis of confidence this is the words he said he said we got a crisis of confidence and they're like who the fuck put this guy in there get him the fuck out of there okay and then they said okay you got these hostages or whatever you can't free them and, it's like, and then reagan comes in and then reagan 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 did the 180 reagan said wow well, Oh, wow, shucks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is... And the people loved it. They ate it up. Okay, so talk about projection. That's all you have to do if you're a president. Just go, blah, blah, blah. And people were like, oh, this guy's the fucking half dead. The other guy was just going, what's me? What, what? And the guy before him, oh, his brain dead. Essentially brain dead. Well, America, blah, blah. And they're like, they're, he's laughing. You're laughing at him. It's like, well, you're the butt of the joke because you think that he actually runs that shit. Okay, the whole thing is... They say, and it's a true line, because I was saying I was wrong. I was The reason I was saying that America was the best empire is because I'm like, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you can look at this guy and say, hey, Joey Bones is a fucking piece of shit. Fuck Joey Bones. I hope he falls down a flight of stairs, okay? And you'll get your detractors, and you'll be put on your blast or whatever, and if you're in Hollywood, you'll be you're thrown out of whatever movie you, you're doing, right? Because like, oh, you didn't support the, the Lord and Savior. The Lord and Savior, if you ain't black, you, 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 what is it? No, if you if you can't support Joey Bones, you're not black, even though the dude wrote the fucking crime bill. Uh, all this type of shit. 
shit. Maybe single-handedly outside of the fucking Clintons is more responsible for doubling the fucking black prison population than anybody else. But let's let's let's, let's conveniently forget that shit. And uh, and then you know, like so, like I said, if you're doing a movie, if you're doing fucking you know, some fucking ten, you know, the Captain Captain fucking America thirty five. Uh, although, although, you know, you would think somebody who's in Captain America will be, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. That's the point is, is like, they'll say, hey, you said you offended the, the guy. And we, we now, we, just to be safe, uh, and you're not going to have a salary for the next fucking five years. Because uh, we're taking you out of the, when it's Captain, what did I say, 35? We're taking you out of Captain 36 and Captain 37. We're going to replace you with fucking Rob Lowe or some shit like that. Uh, but other, but other than that, other than the, the blobbery, you know, other than you not being allowed to say who you, you're not going to get like sniped in the fucking head. You know, if you, like everybody and their mother was, was going after Donnie Golden Toilets. Like everybody and their mother was, and then there's like not as many people, but they should be going after Joey Bones. But the whole thing is like, you're not going to get sniped in the fucking head. So the idea is like, because if you said this shit about, oh, there was Winnie the Pooh over there in fucking China. You said the thing about Winnie the Pooh, then he, 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 he would fucking send somebody to somebody to take your head off. Okay, pop this is the very same thing. This is, this is the pop up way. You know, like they, this is what we're talking about, authoritarian shit. It's like, hey, you don't have the right to fucking say that. We're over here, we pride it. And and it is both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. And I was saying that. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know what? Actually, it's not fucking true. It's just that, they, you, they, that that's what they're there for. They're like the cushion. Okay? They're the human cushion. That's why that's why they take an old guy and they say, let him live. This is why they look for that. They don't want the fucking smart guy. Because then you start saying, oh, the smart guy's actually in charge. You take somebody who's clearly not in charge. He doesn't know where he is at, at any fucking time. You pick any time, a moment in time. He has no clue where he is. You put him in front of the whole apparatus. Okay? So now if you have a problem and you need to fucking stab somebody something you know you stab this thing it's joey bones fault it's not joey bones's fault it's not joey but you, but if you say oh th- this this whole thing that's pulling the strings you start shining the light on that then then you have to fucking move across the fucking planet as edward stone fucking showed you edward stone these guys Julian Assange is like, hey, why don't we show them the thing that we fucking obtained? Okay, that's called journalism. And everyone's just like, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have you come in and, and talk with us. Because we have this like, so we have this fucking thing. We have this fucking thing. It's called the uh, espionage, whatever the fuck, from th- uh, 130 years ago. Who invented it? Nobody remembers. Nobody remembers where it's from. It just fell in our lap. And we're going to use that on this guy as fucking payback for showing what actually fucking happened. Did he do? Did he, did, was it like, what, did he film? some shit and say hey this is what happened and and, and it was like a, a, a fagazi fake type thing no he showed you exactly what fucking happened and it's like you're gonna have to come with me so a long a long winded way of saying you know I was going, oh, America, at least you can say this. Yeah, you can say somebody who's the fall guy. You know who else is a fall guy? Totally unrelated. This guy's Shkreli. Remember Shkreli? We're talking, we're winding the fucking clock back. I am not here saying that this dude was in any way, like, a, not a piece of shit. He was very overtly a piece of shit. But the idea that this kid who was born like, fucking Albanian janitors in, 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 in uh, Sheepshead Bay... Is like somehow the, the, the single most corrupt, uh, you know, the biggest p- pile of shit in America. And, uh, and, and fucking in America, in the United States of America, of all guys, this this guy is the guy. You looked in the entire health industry, okay? You found, you you scanned the entire shit and you picked out this one guy as a way of saying what? If he was out the equation, the whole fucking health industry would be a lot better. Is that really what you're saying? Anybody in the America, anybody in the American healthcare industry who makes money should honest, is, do you want to talk about gulag time? That's who's starting off with this shit. There's this dude who's going around now and God bless him. You know, he's, he turned whatever that is. He turned heel, whatever the fucking phrase is. No, heel is the other way. He did, he did, he's now he's a good guy. You know what I mean? He's basically, he's basically out here saying, here's the shit that we were told to tell you about Dr. Choice and all this type shit. He's like, yeah, all bullshit, all pulled straight out of my, either my asshole or somebody above me's asshole. And then we just, just distributed that through the walls, through the, through all the new, and the news people who fucking regurgitated this shit and through the, the halls of Congress who got paid off because Congress, oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Side note, we're going to keep it going. We're going to try to keep this shit going, but the, 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 the reminder, I don't have a piece of paper, but uh, guy, what's his name? George, what's the guy's fucking, the guy everyone hates now, Santos, Santos, is that his name? We're going to get back to that guy. Mental note, get back to that guy. Anyway, uh, the people who, do, 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 again, talk about uh, old guys standing in front to be able to take your your outrage while everybody else just does. All these unelected fucks do whatever the fuck they were going to do anyway. All right, behind the scenes. So now you have the little minions, you know, running through Congress just to collect their money. Again, great racket. Great racket. This is why we want to get a, 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 a be a part of that. Listen, we at, the, at this point, we're just, here's, here's, here's what I'm saying. 
Here's what I realized about myself, which is ridiculous. It's, 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 Dizzy's, Dizzy's an, a temporary, he's a temporary, a temporary anarchist. Okay, it's so fucking ridiculous to be. Are you like to be an anarchist? It's like, what are you five? Like, what are you fucking five years old? But it's literally gotten to that fucking point. So here, 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 here's, here's the. Here, let me let's actually crystallize exactly what Desi's politics are. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Okay. So I got I got a couple of bullet points here. Here's here's four things we're gonna say about uh, Desi's politics. I need. Give me a pen. Give me something. I need fucking something to write this shit down. Um. Okay, point number one. This is a wheels guy. Okay, I'm a wheels guy. I'm gonna elaborate on what that fucking means in a second. Right, does this work? Thank God. Okay, number one, I'm a wheels guy. Number two, I'm a temporary anarchist. Okay, uh, temporary anarchist. But actually, no, so that doesn't, so put all those down a, a notch. Uh, number one, I'm, a, I'm an auto autocrat. Okay, oh, and we're, we're just coming up with these are these are stupid words. Okay, again, like like life is meaningless. Uh, any sort of meaning is spiritually fucking derived. All these things we use, we use to make it easier so we can say, hey, pass me the screwdriver. Okay, it's not a screwdriver, hey, but it's a thing. Screw when we say when we make that sound with our mouth when we write down screwdriver, it generally refers to this thing in the ballpark thing, which has this sort of, sort of function, so that if I need to do that, it's like, okay, now I know. Hey, screwdriver. If the dudes from fucking Palau, no, we said Palau last time. The dudes from the fucking Philippines, and he doesn't speak English, he speaks Tagalog, then you gotta figure out what that, oh, you know, you can maybe do that, but then that's just another, it's like, that's like sign language, that's another form of language, a long way of saying that we're making screwdrivers, little screwdriver lists uh, of things to mildly communicate where I am on this spectrum, when everyone fucking comes to me and just calls me a fucking Nazi anyway, they're gonna call me a Nazi, they're gonna call me a commie, they're gonna call me this, they're gonna call me fucking that, uh, but so here's, I have two, I'm forgetting one of them, but this is enough for now. Oh, um, uh, and then uh, there's a fourth one. The fourth one's not really an opinion. The fourth one is, uh, a disregard all of these, if I get a job in any of these things. You know, like, we're talking about the Congress people. Uh, if I can get a job as a congressman, then, then rip all this shit up. Because I'm set, okay? Then, then if you wanna, you wanna be a hose lobbyist, you wanna come here and say, hey, look, there's some bill that's saying that our hoses are full of cancer. It's like, okay, we'll pay up and then I'll go and fucking fight your fight so that I can come back here and then just, you know, do what I want with my time and I have the freedom. I'll own some property, maybe. This is a good career. If, 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 it's, if it's gonna be career town anyway, if the entire thing is, look, like we said before, you're gonna have fucking 10% uh, of the people actually doing jobs that have any sort of fucking value. Talk about like the 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 the, the, the thing. Uh, unnecessary labor, unnecessary labor from the pandemic. You realize, oh, most people don't actually do shit that's fucking meaningful. They can afford to just sit at fucking home, right? So if the end, but, but but we're not changing shit. We're not fucking changing the monetary system. So you have to go out and make yourself valuable in this fucking blob process. You need to make yourself look like you're fucking useful. So why don't you go ahead and do that? So uh, but but then again, how are you gonna go do that? So now you have to come up with some kind of shit and be like, hey, well, Stephen, and nobody knows what they're fucking doing. Nobody. Nobody actually does anything, but it's like oh, I'm p participating in this fucking great Kool-Aid fucking uh, Jonestown type shit that everybody does from Monday to Friday. They say, hey, let me give my entire fucking week to this because then there's devotion to the cause of, of, the, of the game. And if you give that much time, it looks like you're fucking doing whatever. Maybe you're making a difference. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not making a difference. You're not making a difference. Nobody cares. But anyway. And, 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 and if you didn't have that, you, would have a, you wouldn't have a, uh, any sort of fucking actual, you know, soul or spirit to fucking pass the time. And you, you, you wouldn't know what to do. You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. I would know what to do with myself, okay? But I, but I do it. There, maybe, there's, maybe instead of having a grand empire, if I just get a, a basic, you know, if we're doing, like I said, if we're doing career town, maybe I get myself one of these nice fucking Congress jobs. I tell people I'm the man of the people. I get in there and I take fucking everything left and right. You know, the, the top above ground selling pool, above ground, top selling above ground pool salesman in fucking Vermont wants to have a word with you. Uh, and you know, he's got a briefcase with them. Send him in, send him the fuck in. Okay. But here's what we are. Okay. Above all else, if I had things my way, which reflects on what this is, is I'm an auto autocrat. Okay. People like this, you believe in democracy? Not really, not, not really at all. I get the idea of like, okay, democracy, a government for the fucking people. It's like, what is it? For the people of the people, for the people, five. the of the for, of the people by the people for the people, right? I, I get the thing that you should generally work for people, right? Even though, like, but just, first of all, you, so like that, that, that does actually maybe coming to the point where that's in 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 not in cahoots. What's the opposite of in cahoots? In 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 conflict with each other. 
Because if, if, you, if you have people in charge, people are fucking stupid. So people are going to do shit that's against their fucking interest time and time again. Just time and time again. Because somebody comes in and the equivalent of fucking used car salesman is them. And they go, okay. like it's well, blah, 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 blah. And then they, 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 they do something against their interest. So it's like it's almost like you're either going to have a government of the people or a government for the people type shit. So in a sense, I, yeah, I get that you would want to have a government for the people. And maybe I still want that, but, but, but I just don't like it. It's just, at this point, wouldn't a democracy have to check off all three of those boxes? Because we just settled for the fines, like like oh, you just you show up to to the polls every even though that shit's been decided for you before you fucking go. All this like you're not you're not doing anything. You're not again, and you're you're voting for the people who don't matter, the people standing in front of the thing who were actually the people standing in front of the block of people who are not elected anyway and got put in there by some administration and they got to cover up every fucking thing they got to cover up and they're like oh it's classified as the national interest. He's like well why don't you let me decide that if this is if this is democracy but no. Most people don't even want to go there. They just go, oh, our democracy was hacked by, and then, and then, you know, and then fucking four years later, it's the same shit on the other side. They're like, oh, the, the votes stopped the steal. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh my fucking god, you know, it's like, this, this, these are the people we want in charge. These are the people we want in charge. You know, to maybe fuck democracy. Okay, fuck, you've heard, and you, I don't, you know, I say maybe just push it all the way there. We're just going to go, because you're going to round it up anyway. You're going to say, oh, this is an autocrat. Yeah, this is an autocrat. But I'm an auto-autocrat. And what does that mean? Autocrat, auto-autocrat means I believe that one person should run the entire fucking thing. But I also think it should be me. And if it's not going to be me, then fuck it. You know, at this point, if it's not going to be me, if, at, this, at this point, if I can't get the number one, or I can't get the number four, you know, which is find somewhere, you know, it was aim for the stars. And that way, if you fall, you, some some stupid shit like that. Like, aim for the stars. That way, if you fall, you land among the clouds or some fuck. So if you, can get, if you can't give me some fucking stars or clouds, nuke the shit. Fucking nuke the shit. I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't care. I, you know, and I'll be there watching it all happen. Um, but, but, if, but if I had my way, if I had my way, fuck the cloud shit for a second. I want to go all the way up. Auto autocrat. I want to run it all. Okay, because so because that's how that, that, that you should have some you, one person should run everything, and I know power corrupts and all this kind of shit. You know, at this point, I don't care. I don't fucking care. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm an auto autocrat. I believe in autocracy. I believe in autocracy, but only if I'm in fucking charge. Okay, so I believe that that's the best way to run shit, but I'm not going to have fucking, uh, uh, like I said, if it's BZ Poo or any one of these guys who rises to the fucking top, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm not going to have your cock in my mouth, okay? I will have my own cock in my own mouth, okay? Auto fucking fellatio. Auto fellatio, auto autocrat. A lot of auto going on. Okay, number two, I'm a wheels guy. Okay, actually, before I get to the wheels guy, uh, okay, so this, is, this is the ranking. So actually, the wheels is going to be number three. Number two, uh, okay, so number one, no, no, no. Okay, let's start from scratch. Number one, auto autocrat. So this is ranked in terms of what I can get. Okay, number two, a clouds guy. Okay, I'll be a clouds guy, which essentially ref- reflects the, the shit we were just talking about. I aim high and I go, whoops. Uh, the the being being the being the global dictator is out of the, the fucking equation for you. But hey, but hey, you know, or or I say I say, hey, there's an open Congress. We'll do a Billy De Blasio. And we'll say, hey, there's an open Congress seat because the people love me so much when I was fucking mayor. Let me try to give them more of me. Or so we do essentially that. We say, <clears throat> we say, this is open shit. Let's get that as a fucking stepping stone because that's a stepping stone for all these fucking people. No, you think any, any, you're a stepping stone for, for all these people until they find out, oh, this is a brilliant fucking racket. I could just sit here for the next 40 fucking years because there's no term limits or whatever and just collect cabbage. Just collect cabbage from left, fucking right, and center. And if you're an idiot, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, she's not an idiot, but she's an idiot for doing this. If you're like an AOC type and you're an idiot and you say, hey, let me make myself the public face so that I, you know, that everyone knows who I am, go in there and be stilt. What are you making your name known for? I guess we're fucked because we're trying to do this whole thing. It's hard. It's going to be hard for us to be stealth. But maybe, maybe, maybe if there, if there is an opportunity, if they came to me and say, hey, listen, Des, hang up the fucking robe, hang up the hat. We're going to dress you. You're going to be unrecognizable. We'll do like an undercover boss type thing. We're going to send you in there. And like I said, just then you just go out business as usual. You don't have to vote for anything. You just oh, Here's a couple things, okay? When Big Daddy War Machine comes up and says, "Hey, we need fucking a bazillion dollars of bullets to sell to whoever the fuck," it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna kill a lot of fucking people. We don't care. You need, you need you to say yes because then there's gonna be a fucking problem. Okay, so shit like that. And number two is like stay under the fucking radar. Okay, don't, 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 don't. You know, uh, apart from those fucking things, do what you want. 
Do what you want. Raise as much money as you want. Take money from whoever. Al Qaeda wants to. Maybe maybe Al Qaeda will be a fucking problem. But anything short of fucking Al Qaeda. What's the company? They fucking uh they they they, they chop the legs off of puppies and fucking sell it to uh the, you know the, to make fucking furniture. Take the, all the money you fucking want. It's probably a bad PR thing because the puppies. If it was if it was human if it was human legs, they wouldn't people wouldn't give a shit. But if you did it to puppies, and it'd be like oh they vote you out. They, 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 they would give they would give you the Santos treatment. That's who another guy. We gotta write down the Santos thing. But that's back what, what, what I was saying. Okay, so we can go in and then try to get a Congress job and then find out, hey, the water's actually kind of warm. Why don't we just fucking stay here for the rest of our lives? It's a brilliant fucking racket. It's a brilliant fucking racket. Or maybe we wouldn't even have to lose the robe and shit. Maybe we just, we, maybe we just keep playing this whole thing of, yeah, hey, Desi's a man of the people, and then just do what we need to do to get by, to eat sandwiches and food every day and not die. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I'm a, when, when, when I'm feeling a bit optimistic, let's say I'm feeling optimistic. Um... Or actually no, so that we're, wheel, wheels going last. We're gonna move wheels last. Number three is temporary anarchist. Okay, so if we can't even get that, if we can't even get a, cl- a cloud spot, so say we aim for the stars, and whoever said that quote was fucking lying because we fell into the clouds. But then maybe maybe, maybe this is the whole point. Maybe because it's clouds, it's not actually a, it's not it's fucking vapor. So you fall through that shit too. You think you're gonna cushion in a fucking vapor? What is you ever seen a fucking airplane go, like move to side to side when it hits a fucking cloud? No, it goes right through that shit. It's fucking water. It's like it's almost 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 imaginary. Clouds are almost fucking imaginary. If they didn't just fucking form like hurricanes and tornadoes and shit and kill people every once in a while, they could just be a figment of all our collective fucking imagination. Uh, so say we, we aim for the stars, we don't even, and then we, we land in the clouds and then go right through the fucking clouds um, and then hit the fucking ground again. And for the rest of our lives, lives, for the rest of our lives, we're just fucking, you know, we are this. You know, we keep saying 2025 is when the, the Desi fever is going to catch catch on like a wildfire. That day never comes, okay? And we're just doing this for the fucking rest of our life. We're just circling through, I mean, talk about meaningless jobs. But at least if you have a meaningless corporate job, it's like you, like you get salary and all this type of stuff we were saying before. Uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm actually doing like the fucking dirty work and labor, like if I have to look at a mop bucket when I'm in like in my 40s and shit, you know, like for this, that's the kind of thing we're talking about. So now we actually have to like approach this shit on, on a level of like, like I said, at that point, nuke it. I don't give a fuck. At that point, nuke the planet. I'm fine with that. But if we we're going to try to engage, we input and put our political fucking perspective into words, it would be uh, that we're a temporary anarchist. Because being an anarchist is stupid, like we said. You, and anybody who wants anarchy doesn't fucking want anarchy. And I know it's, there's like more intellectual ways to look at it. It's not just like everyone, anarchy doesn't mean everyone going ah, blah, 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 I'm running around like fucking crazy. There's a there's there's, there's healthier ways to do anarchy. Is it is it energy as much as it is a uh, you know a thing? But it's a dumb it's a dumb way of running things. Like think about this. Like think like. Again, we, we, when we had more faith in our species, maybe it was smart. Because sometimes, like, you know, when shit goes down, people and people have to lose the facade of, oh, you know, it's like, oh, this person needs fucking help. Or, oh, the store is flooding. People come in and do, like, collective action and shit. And, and they snap to it. And they're not waiting for this department of whatever. There's not some guy with the clipboard. Going, oh, it's like, fuck the guy with the clipboard. Throw him in the water, okay? Because he's just going to be in everybody's fucking way. Use him as a canoe, Okay. Uh, but, 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 uh, so we used to say that, but at this point, I think, you know, like, if there was r- r- rule for an- room for anarchy, people would just, again, just, do, especially in America, shit would just de- de- degenerate fast. Uh, but at this point, the blob is just so, so if we can't, this is, so the, the, if we can't get a seat on the blob, because that'll change my perspective. If I get a nice little cushy seat for myself on the blob, then uh, then we'll, we'll change our minds on this. But if I can't get a cushy seat, if we can't get a cushy seat on the blob, then the blob has to go. And I'm not taking up any sort of fucking political opinion until the blob goes. And we create a new blob, okay? The ne- we'll create the next thing, and then, then that thing becomes a blob in 20, 30 years. I don't give a fuck. You need to, you know, it's like a life cycle. You need to burn down the old forest sometimes so the new forest comes. And then that forest burns down. And then people die. People die, okay? People, they have, you know, we don't live forever. Ever, right but why do you have these companies that are around for fucking 250 years how the fuck oh because they pass out to the center we're talking about someone talk about publicly traded fucking giant blob shit and it's just blob shit and then they buy something and they buy property and they buy this and then they don't get taxed and then it's like you don't actually do anything and then they employ people to stand there like you know decoration boys in 10 years so this is our idea about decoration boys when there's nothing else to do you're just gonna have people go like this for fucking you know however much money an hour 
and we'll make some kind of TikTok trend. And it's, you know, you're gonna laugh, and then you're not gonna laugh because you're gonna see Decoration Boys everywhere. It's gonna spread from the diners, people saying, "Us, the diners doing this," and then they're just gonna be doing this in the offices. If you're selling insurance or some shit, the computers know what they're fucking doing. The computers can do this shit. One computer can do this shit. The entire office pretends to do. So the people in the office are gonna start doing this, and then there's gonna be like a challenge. It's like oh, Decoration Boy challenge, and then they're gonna like have vertical decoration or whatever horizontal. That's vertical horizontal decoration boys and shit. Then there's gonna be a bazillion type of decoration girl and because I'm gonna say decoration girls is if decoration boys is uh is uh it's not suitable for non-binary you, you're being gendered so why decoration whatever the fuck and then it's just gonna and that's gonna be work in America uh but you know uh could the, the, the idea be like while the blob and so what I sense you all just gonna become little Joey Boneses and little or little Donnie Golden Toilets or pick 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 whichever one Mr. Hallmark uh <laughs> Uh, or, or, or W, or whoever the fuck, pick one of your, whoever the guy you still have a little bit of fucking faith in, just be, we're all little that, we're just gonna be sitting around doing, figuring out what, you know, to, to, to no avail, we no, we're not gonna be sitting around doing, we're not gonna be sitting around thinking about life, that's what you would do if you had a rocking horse in a Des Empire, but you were not doing that, so you have to, you have to pretend like, we're gonna, we're gonna come up with, there's gonna be like an opening and closing sheet for your shift for decoration, boys, you know, like you're just gonna invent shit, because people just invent shit, they invent shit on top of shit, on top of shit, on top of shit, people just, just invent shit, so it's, and while the blob rolls on, because nobody knows how to correct the blob, and everyone says they're gonna correct the blob, and they find ourselves in a nice little seat on the blob, and like, actually, you know what, I'm, I think I'm good here. Okay, so long as we can keep this going, because then that now, now my ability to, in my need to, my biological need to eat food has been attached to this fucking thing. Okay, so now I can't afford for it to stop, or otherwise I'll die of fucking starvation. So there's that. If we were gonna be uh, helpful to society, if we decide maybe, maybe after being a temporary anarchist, we say, hey, you know, we uh, we did the anarchy thing. We stopped. The, uh, we stopped the plot or whatever it is or whatever you know and now we have the new thing so we say we accomplished that so now I need to put my my, my, my hat on it's now say the the, 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 the the global running the global shit is out of the equation and the nice little cushy well we, we ruined the cushy shit we ruined the cushy congress job because we uh because we killed the blob, right? But now, so now I need to want to be a concerned citizen. Now I say democracy is back in play, which means humans would have to fucking radically change themselves, which I don't think is just fucking possible. So I don't think this is ever going to fucking happen. But if I was going to make myself useful and offer my two cents, I'd be like, you know, I'm a wheels guy. And you'll be like, what, does he, what do you mean by wheels guy? Because we, we have this whole thing about wings, okay? We have every what wing, and people just round to whatever fucking wing, right? And because it's like, I am the arbiter of the left wing. I am the arbiter of the fucking right wing, Okay. And it's just like, oh, you said this, which means that this, which means that you're that, which means that you're this wing, which means that you're the worst thing on that wing, right? And so anybody with fucking half a head sees like, yeah, that shit's stupid. But the problem is then they become, they're like, they're like I'm not a wing, you know, you're the, the, you need two wings to fly. Or like, oh, you know, they say like, uh, they say like, I'm a fuselage guy, you know, like I'm a fuselage guy because that's the fuselage is the main thing in the airplane, right? So you have the wings. But if you're just wings, you know, what are you flying? Wing, wings can't fly. You know, people are like, like, you need two wings to fly. Yeah, but two wings can't fly on their own you need to carry the thing okay a bird has a fucking body okay so now you need to fly this thing if you're really going with the plane analogy you need to fly it's like like so keep it about the main thing that carries the fucking people but then all these people become just fucking spineless fucking moderates you know what i mean people who are just like oh i see both sides i see the side i see that side it's like so you, what are you just gonna stand there with your, your thumb up your ass then well, these two people fucking argue. You're just going to be there going, well, and we, and then just, this, these are the people who go like, well, it's our country, and for the sake of our country, yeah, bullshit. Nobody fucking cares about this country. Nobody cares. About it. Nobody, people pretend they care about it. Like, people pretend they care about the country because that's the thing that keeps them fucking alive. And again, uh, daddy, I'm a good boy. I said nice things about, you know, teacher, I'm a good boy. I said nice things about America. I never challenged my fucking thoughts for them. Deep inside, you fucking hate the country. That's what Donnie Golden Toilet showed. He's like, he's like, I love America, but fuck America. And you win, you went, yeah, because and deep inside he allowed you permission to say fuck America but in a nice way it's like make America great again that means it means it's not great now it means you fucking hate it so who why why why, why are we doing this whole facade why am I why am I gonna pay the price eventually because when this comes out I'm like oh he said fuck America and I, I love America it's like you fucking don't shut the fuck up alright but besides that all this shit 
This, this is what the fuselage people say. They're like, they're, they're like, oh, in the name of our spirit, we need to bring everybody to I'm, I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm a wheel. And this is why, like, in, in, in on, on YouTube or in politics, they very, very rarely do they come about. But I find the wheels guys. Okay? I'm a wheels guy. All right? So my whole thing is if you want to fly this fucking plane, yet you need wheels. You need the wing. You need this. You need the, you need to have the thing. You need to have fuel. You need to have all this type of stuff. But you need fucking wheels, and then to land the shit. Okay. So if you're st- if you if, you know you, you you can say oh the, the silly it's like oh yeah okay two two things for you. I had to first of all tell the people in the jet blue shit. Okay, remember the jet blue shit? The wheel turned fucking sideways, which is like it sounds like a non-issue. But these people were watching themselves and they're like, oh fuck, we're gonna die. Okay, we're gonna die literally because because we can't have anything down there to turn the fucking wheel. So now this is a whole thing. We have people saying, hey, look, the wings are and the wings are fighting, and people are like, yeah, I'm looking at the fucking wheel sideways and saying that yeah, you, we're all we're all gonna meet. And then they didn't. They 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 survived. But they, because they skid on the fucking runway and there was flames and sparks and shit everywhere, everywhere. All I'm saying is that the wheels are underrated. And so, the, so the second thing I was going to say is, like, did you was the challenger? The challenger, when they brought the teacher on, they're like, yeah, this is going to be great. You know, what could possibly go wrong? Let's have our parents fucking watch this thing take off, you know? Like, you know, with smiles on their faces and shit. 87 seconds later, it's like, oh, shit. Well, dude, is, is that temporary? Is that, is, is, is what happened there? Is Did they go from phase one to phase? Yeah, they went from phase one to fucking phase two, all right. Uh, but anyway, so this thing. Oh, so the the reason the challenge, and they're like, "Hey, what wrong? What happens?" It's like some O ring shit. It was the O rings? I don't even know what the fucking O ring is. It's like some. That's the whole point. It's like this is neglected kind of thing. Like everyone's like, "Yeah, we focused on the rocket shit. We made sure it had enough fuel. We did this. We just, yeah, but you forgot the fucking O rings, okay? And without the O rings." <laughs> Right, so the equivalent of the old rings on the plane is the fucking wheels. I'm a wheels guy. Show me what's... Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, was, uh, you, everyone go ahead and have the same stupid fucking debates. I'm going to look for the fucking wheels in this shit. Yeah, you know your wheels are fucked up? Not now. We have an emergency. With, there's a terrorist on board. Yeah, well, it doesn't fucking matter. You know, at that point, maybe let the terrorists do what we want. If, if you fight and you beat the terrorist, you still have to f- fucking worry about these fucking wheels. How are you going to land this fucking plane? Who, and if the terrorists took out the pilots, I mean, then you have to f- figure out who, who, who... You know what I mean? All this kind of shit. All this kind of shit. All I'm saying is I'm, I'm looking for the wheels in any situation. So if you're going to come up to me and say, oh, this wing and this wing and that wing says this and then this and that. And here's politics. And here's the politics of the day. I don't give a fuck. And so go on to... We'll close this out on this. So go on to the politics of the day. I think the guy's name is Santos. Is that the guy's name? He's my new favorite fucking congressperson, by the way. And I, I, I'm just scraping the surface because I don't listen to this fucking shit. There's like some... Uh, some tr- like I don't plug into fucking news anymore because i don't give a fuck about people i don't give a fuck about people i really don't i don't fucking care uh so i had so i haven't really been plugged in i was loosely plugged in because it was like you know you hear cnn try to make a fucking story of everything i'm like i I, I'm like this congress person i'm like you are you still surprised are you still surprised when congress people do anything although this guy this guy you know what he, they, i kept hearing his name like can you uh, i actually know you know what i heard it in fucking in passing on the fucking i'm just i'm just stuck by the people stuck behind me and they're going yeah you heard about santos and he lied about it i'm oh wow member of congress lied that's fucking wild let me tell me more but this dude lied this dad this dude went all the way in he's like he's like I'm inventing a new fucking name. I'm not even from here. I'm not this and I'm that. He was at like Boston Marathon, 9-11, Pulse Nightclub. Just do it all and fucking put it all in there. And he fucking won. And now they're like, all right, well, you lied. So you have to step down. He's like, nah, son. This guy is my fucking guy. This is how you have to do it. Play the game. Play the game. Were you there? Yes, I was. Oh, you weren't? Yep. Who gives a shit? Did you vote? I need you to press the button. Okay, I need one thing out of you. I need you to fucking walk your little buns down there. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask, whatever you want to fucking do. I need you to go to that fucking booth, okay? If you're fucking 80, I need to make sure you're well-fed, you're, you're, you're boosted on whatever you're boosted on. Have, if, you, if, you, if you have trouble seeing, you have trouble walking, get somebody down there. I need you to press the fucking button. Have somebody fill it in for you. Do the Chicago Kennedy shit. Have votes coming in from dead people. I don't care. I need the numbers. That's the name of the game. Hold somebody up at gunpoint. I'll fu- vote for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna fucking kill your family next week. Voter intimidation. I'm all for it. Just get. Listen. If the name of the game is to get the numbers, get the numbers. But he didn't even have to do that. He just made up a fucking story. He he let his imagination run wild. We are big fans of imagination here, and I think this is like this is the perfect fucking. So listen, uh, it, they're gonna probably figure out a way to make it miserable. Actually, no, but they won't. Worry, well, he's untouchable. Then people, first of all, people are gonna forget. People have already started to forget. I'm old news touching this for the first fucking time. Like I, I'm, I'm I'm cold potatoes here. This is the guy. This guy has opened up the the the, the way to do things. 
okay? I do got I what I have to I have to I have to get the number and do this. No, fuck that. Get the number. Get the number you need and give give the people a fucking give the people a story to remember. Okay? Cuz this is going to turn into a movie now. Okay? And he can option the fucking I, If I was if that was me, I would option the movie too. I would sell, I would write the story. You write the book, you say how I do Congress or whatever. While you're still in Congress, so keep collecting those checks. Uh, and then you have the check from your, your, your post-Congress thing is set because you have this book and then you turn it into a movie, right? Whatever. Or start up some fucking LLC and then, you know, like have the money funneled to you anyway. Threaten to sue them for your like, you know, using your likeness in a negative light if they, if people are going to come up with it outside. You're, you're creating value. You understand? You're creating value for society, okay? Because now you've now like the j- journalists whether for or against, they're gonna fucking weigh in on this. So now they're justifying their fucking salary, which they don't know. None of these cunts deserve. None of you fucking journalist cunts deserve any fucking money at all. But this is this whole thing's like, well, this is news that people need. People don't need to know. People don't need to know. Okay, he's just another. Uh, 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 he's just a, a part of the fucking wallpaper. He's just another part of the fabric. You think that guy's in any direction is gonna do anything that's of value? No, he's there to plug himself in, siphon some resources off for himself. Okay, get some from, from, you know funding from bank. Maybe the banks will turn around and say, "Sorry, we can't fund you anymore." So maybe he fucked himself in that in that regard. But listen, he did what he did. What literally? What two, three? Th- how many? What four thousand people ever have served in Congress? Gotta be max for five thousand max. He did what 5,000 people in history have fucking done, okay? And now he's put himself in a national fucking spotlight. He could run for some shit. Maybe they don't want him in... I see Long Island. He's probably fucking set. Long Island, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck in Long Island. Nobody cares in Long Island. He's fine. He 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 played the game the way to play it. Okay, and like I said, maybe he he fucked up because now he's a public figure. But now even so, even more. So, if he had aspirations beyond that, now he set he set himself up for that, and he can always do the Rod Blagojevich shit, retire and go on like Survivor or some shit. You know, the options are now open. He, this guy, I knows how to succeed in the American system and is now my favorite fucking member of Congress until I get in there and I can do something similar. But again, that involves people to, uh, you know, he, he wouldn't spill the beans like this. You know, maybe people watch this and say, all right, well, now I'm not going to vote for him because he just basically told, you know, us that I, he doesn't give a shit about us, which is true. I don't care about you, but also watch my shit. And buy my art and all this kind of kind of stuff. I, there might have been zero value in all of that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'll do these things early fucking next time. It took me fucking three hours, like always, to set up the fucking lights on this shit. So that's all you're gonna get. I'm already going way over. So everybody just. I I don't even I don't care to be honest with you. I don't care. I don't care what you do. Shove a shove a fucking uh, flamingo from the front lawn up your ass. I do not give a fuck. I, you know what? And I hope I hope it's something that you you just didn't know you needed in your life, and you figured it out. And now we can all move on merrily. And if it's not, well then whoop the fucking do. You could have been in Zambia having your fucking limbs chopped off. So, anyways, uh, that's all for me.